All right, so welcome to the next segment of these ECG podcasts. Today's case involves a 50-year-old female who is known with congestive heart failure on Joxin, and she presented to us with an altered mental status. So let's have a look at the ECG. It's actually really exciting. The first thing I want to point out is the rate, and the rate works out to 72 beats per minute. I want you to remember the number 72. The next thing is that let's have a look at the P waves. The P waves are actually inverted. You can see it more clearly over here. QRS complexes are narrow and regular. So this is referred to as an accelerated junctional rhythm. Now accelerated because it's more than 60, because junctional escape rates are between 40 and 60. And anything more than 60 is referred to as an accelerated junctional rhythm. So the combination of inverted P waves, narrow QRS complexes, with rates more than 60 are referred to as an accelerated junctional rhythm. And the classical, classical cause of that is digoxin toxicity. I want to focus on two more features on this ECG which relates to digoxin effect. And the first one is the scooped ST segments, also referred to as the Salvador Dali moustache. Now Salvador Dali was a famous Spanish painter with a very, very weird moustache. Well, in any case, have a look at it here. The next thing is that the association with the shortened QT interval. So the combination of the scooped ST segments and the short QT interval is associated with ditch effect and not necessarily ditch toxicity. All right, so let's go through it again. The rate more than 60, inverted P waves, narrow complexes, narrow QRS complexes refers to an accelerated junctional rhythm whereby there is increased automaticity in the AV node and decreased automaticity in the SA node. It basically means that the AV node takes over as the pacemaker. Right. An accelerated junctional rhythm is classically associated with digoxin toxicity. The scoped ST segments and shortened QT intervals is associated with ditch effect. Okay. Hope you learned something new. Thank you.